We're gonna look at the hot water units now and the different sorts there are. So this one here, it's a Vulcan. Uh, it's a storage hot water unit. So what that means is the, the element down the bottom here heats up the water you use. We'll show you later on what a heat exchange looks like. Now, on a storage unit, you've got a relief valve. What this is, this is just a safety valve. Some people get confused with this and think it tops up the unit. This needs to be released every three to six months because what it does, it releases the temperature and pressure when it builds up too much in here. You can imagine if this was capped off and wasn't working correctly, the pressure's gotta go somewhere. The easiest way to explain it is, when you use the water out of this, it fills up with cold water, hot water expands. The pressure's gotta go somewhere. So all you do to release it, just gently watch where it goes. This one's going outside, so you just gently relieve it. And as you can see, there's a bit of a problem with this one. That's all right, we'll be able to change it after this. So if you notice that on your hot water unit, call the plumber because there is an issue with this valve. It's still working, but it's leaking out of the top and it shouldn't do that. Now down below, we've got the duo valve. The duo is a, an isolator and non-return valve. It is to shut the hot water unit off. So this is quite important to find, ideally when you first move in, so you know if the water's leaking out of the unit, you can just shut this valve off. So it's easy, just turn it clockwise until it stops. And once again, there's a problem with that valve as well. So we'll have to change that one as well later on. So we'll just turn it back on for now. So that will shut it down. The other valve that's not on this one that should be is a tempering valve. Now you see you've got pipes going in and out. So that of course the pipe going in the bottom is the cold water. That isolates it. The next one on the outside here is a hot water coming out. So be careful with that, that's quite hot. That one here, we've already discussed that, that's a relief valve. So when you're tempering valve, it'll come off this valve. So instead of the hot water going straight into the property, you'll have another valve inside here where the hot water goes in, the cold water comes into it, and then the tempered water goes out. The tempering valve limits it to under 50 degrees, as I've explained before. Now, as I said, this is a Vulcan. You've got ream, ducts, ever hot units that are all storage. So that's what I was talking about with this valve. The other thing you've got to be aware of when you've got a hot water problem, it might not be leaking on the ground, but you might not have any water. It might be cold. So that's where you've got to go and check your, your meter box. If there's no hot water coming out of here, because I can feel this now, it's quite warm. If there's no hot water coming when you release that, it's an electrical problem. That's when you need to have a look at the, the year and see when it was made and make that decision of do we replace or do we try to repair. So here's an older style tank. This is the, the heat exchange sort. Now, you've got Saxon or Braemar. They don't make these anymore, but there's a few differences to your storage one, which I showed you before. You've got this valve on here. This tops up the unit. So instead of being a safety valve, this, this lever here, when you pull this, water actually fills the tank up. If you pull that and nothing's coming out of the vent or the overflow, that means you need to fill it up more. So you keep going until you see that water coming out. So to explain how these work, where the difference is with the other sort is, you've got a copper tank inside here and you've got a copper tube that runs all the way around in a circle all the way down to the bottom and back out. So when you turn your, your hot tap on inside, the water goes in through that pipe, goes all the way to the bottom with the outside water heating it up on the way through. What this means is the element is heating the water you don't use. So if you find you're slowly getting not as much hot water as you've had before, it's running out quicker, pull this valve because it's gonna save the owner some money. It's something very simple to do and easy for you to do.